Let's go. Let's go. What's up guys, welcome back to a new Dying Light 2 video. This video is going to be about features we need and want in Dying Light 2. I'm going to cover some things I've really been thinking about recently and some things I think we really should have in Dying Light 2 and a lot of things I think people would want and obviously most of this is going to be from my own opinion but I feel like other people can relate to these as well. For the first thing, and probably the most important thing on this list actually, is crafting. I think the crafting in Dying Light 1 worked, but wasn't exactly what we would prefer. Sort of pausing and going to like an inventory type thing and crafting things wasn't convenient. And I think we need something more like a book or something along those lines in game. We can actually open up as Aiden Caldwell, the main character, and choose or go down similar to Dying Light 1, but in, in the actual game, I don't want something you have to pause for or sort of take a break out of the game. I want you to have to be able to be in a safe place and open up that book and craft something to make sure you're not just pausing the game in the middle of a fight or something stupid like that. I would really like to see crafting benches in the game, similar to like Metro Exodus is what comes to mind for me. Say any type of mods or anything, you would have to go to a crafting bench to actually equip those. And it makes sense because you're not really just gonna equip those right on in the middle of nowhere. And, and another thing to come with these crafting benches I would like to see is sharpening blades to actually increase damage a little bit. So say if you find a machete that's beat up out in the world, say if you bring it back to a safe zone with some sort of faction, whichever one, maybe different ones have something like this, maybe different ones don't. Say you can sharpen blades and just make them a little bit stronger, obviously nothing too crazy. Moving on, we really need meaningful choices when it comes to choosing in these situations they're going to give us. And it looks like they're really putting a big emphasis on that since really day one they've announced this game. They, they've announced the choices that are going to come with the game and how it's going to affect the environment, how it's going to affect the factions and everything else in the world. And I think they're doing a really good job with this. And obviously that's something we need. They've really put a big emphasis on that. And we just need to hope that it comes to, comes to life and matches up with the expectations that a lot of people have put on it and they themselves have put on it. We need a way that we can see trust or loyalty with a certain faction. Now we don't we don't necessarily actually need this, but this this was uh, something I would really like to see. So obviously we had something like this in the following with the trust for the mother and the cult. But if we had something like this in Dying Light Two, it'd be very interesting because the factions are obviously going to be opposed to each other, such as the scavengers and peacekeepers. I would really love to see how our choices affect our loyalty to that faction and their loyalty to you so say if i'm going to the peacekeepers and sort of screwing them over every time are we going to be able to see like a meter or something like that or is it just going to depend on the personality of the leader of the faction i think that would be something really hard to do say if the leader of the peacekeepers is really a hothead and he's not going to take a bunch of shit ra rather than the leader of the scavengers is like a easygoing guy then say you might be able to screw over the scavengers more than the peacekeepers i don't know if that's something they'll be able to pull off but that would be incredible if they did but yeah are we going to be able to see like some sort of meter is it going to depend on the personality are we actually going to be able to just sort of outcast ourselves from a faction and totally just fuck them over and they say no you're not we're not having any of you anymore you're just done with us I think that's definitely a possibility, and they have to implement something like that, I think. If you ask anyone who played Dying Light 1, they're most likely to say the weakest point of the game was the story and the overall depth of the characters, and I think a lot of people agree with that. Uh, I think for Dying Light 2, a lot of people can agree we need stronger story and stronger characters. I think they, they're going to do a good job with this one. They brought on Chris Avalon from the Fallout series, so he's a really known story writer. So I think I think they're going to lock this one down and come out with an amazing story, to be honest. I don't think we have much to worry about here. This next one is something I haven't heard anyone talk about. I have not heard literally anyone talk about this, and that is romance in the game. Will we be able to get with someone in the game? Are we going to be able to have a relationship with some other person in the game, some other possible leader of a different faction. Uh, I think this would be incredibly difficult for them to do because you can look at Dying Light 1 and say, well, they had Crane and Jade, 
but Dying Light 1 isn't going to have the different story options, obviously, that Dying Light 2 is going to have. So it's going to be really hard for them to do something like this because if you are if you have a relationship with a character from the Scavengers uh, faction, then it's going to be really difficult. It's going to affect every other outcome in the game, basically. I mean, every other faction you team with... Uh, you're you're gonna be biased toward the scavengers, obviously. It's it's just gonna affect a lot. So if they could pull off anything like that, I would be very surprised and impressed. I mean, so impressed, honestly. I think that would be really an eye opener to everyone if they did something like that. I, I personally, I don't think they're gonna be able to do something like that. They might be able to do it with like one other person in the world, and you might have like an option, yes or no, type of thing overall, but. Once again, it's just going to be really difficult to do that. I think we need to be able to lead a faction, and that's something I really want also. And if we're not going to be able to lead one, which I think we probably will, to be honest. If we're not going to be able to lead one, I think we need to have a really big say in everything they're doing if we decide to side with them. But I'm assuming that we will be able to lead factions, especially factions like the wildcard factions we have heard so much about, such as the Unt Untainted and many more we don't know anything of. But yeah, I think that'll be a possibility and that's something I'm really looking forward to because I I really like the idea of sort of pinning the bigger factions against each other and bringing a small faction such as the Untainted or any other one that, uh, that is in the game and bringing them out of the depths and sort of just making them a powerhouse in the game. That's something I really want to do. And if there is a wildcard faction I find like that when the game comes out, that I really like. That's something I'm probably going to end up doing on my first playthrough. It really just depends how how uh, the main factions do work, though. It depends what their morals are and everything like that. But that's something I really think would be interesting. Also, something I want to see is on the map, I want to see a territorial sort of like military style style uh, map that will show like the reign of the peacekeepers and scavengers and possibly have like different highlighted areas for how powerful their reign is in that area or control in that area is. Now I assume this is going to be able to change also. So say if you're bringing the untainted out of the depths, you might be able to expand their faction or something like that. Um, that's just something right now at this moment I don't think we know much about. I don't think we know if we're actually going to be able to make them into like a powerhouse or something like that. I assume we might be able to do that, but... As far as the territorial control goes, I hope that they have like a map that changes as far as when you take control or help a certain faction and possibly expand them. Then I hope the map will actually change in game and show you that you're doing work and it's paying off. The last thing I'm going to talk about here is the skill tree in Dying Light 2 and I think we need a lot more of a diverse skill tree. I would like to see less of the sort of moves you get to unlock. And more of a, I want to definitely see more stealth in the skill tree. Maybe a whole side of the tree for that. I want to see, I want to see, for example, abilities like uh, dual wielding, something like that, and the ability to disarm NPCs. I just want to see more like actually abilities like that instead of moves you can actually do like the roundhouse 360 spin from the first game so yeah this isn't everything i want to fully talk about but this is just some stuff i was thinking about over the last couple of hours or maybe the last day or so i was just thinking about um in my free time but yeah that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video i definitely think the most important thing i talked about was sort of the crafting we definitely need some sort of new crafting system and or crafting benches as I would like to see. But yeah, other than that, I think romance is definitely the most uh, unique thing I talked about in this video as far as other YouTubers talking about it or anyone on the internet talking about it. I haven't seen anyone talk about it at all. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you guys think they should have sort of a romance in the game, some choices, or do you think that's just not going to be possible? But yeah, like the video if you enjoyed this, and subscribe if you want, and I'll see you guys in the next video.